Hi students, I hope you're staying warm on this freezing cold day. I'm so sad that we didn't have grammar class on Monday or today, Wednesday. So I really need for us to be able to take our test on Friday. We'll spend some time reviewing right before we take the test. But what I want to do is, re is go over this practice quiz, this practice test with you to show you the answers to help and show you some other ways that you can get ready for our test on Friday. So let's look at the answers to this quiz. Um, so the first question, we have to circle the best answer to complete each sentence. And it says, what did or were you doing when the electricity went off this morning? So here we see that we have a, a do, use subject and we have doing. So we know that's a progressive verb. Something was in progress in a certain moment when the electricity went off simple past. So to go with the ing verb, we must have a be verb. So we have to choose were. That's a past progressive or past continuous tense. Number two, a hundred years ago, no one knew or no one was knowing about the weather conditions on the planet Mars. In this case, we're comparing between simple past and past progressive. So which one would we choose? In this case, we know that the verb know, K-N-O-W, is not usually used in the progressive. It's not used in the progressive form because it's a thinking or perceiving verb. So we need to choose the simple past, new. Number three. I go or goes to the movies every weekend. This, both of these verbs are in the simple present, but we see that since the subject is I, we need to use go, because S on the end of a verb only goes for he, she, or it. Last one, Sue and Owen take or are taking an exercise class this semester. The key word in this sentence is this semester. This means this is something that is happening these days or around this time. That means we need to use a progressive form, our taking an exercise class, because it's happening right now during the present period that we're talking about. If you said Sue and Owen take an exercise class this semester, this might be possible. Okay, that's the one that's sort of questionable. Okay, for our next part, we have um, to complete the sentence with the correct form of the verb. This is a little bit harder um, because we just have the verb here and we need to put it in the right tense. So here we see, while Meryl, hmm, the newspaper before class, she found an interesting article about health care. Okay, so we, we see that there is a verb in this sentence which is found, a simple past verb. And we see that in the other clause, we have the word while. While means that something was in progress in the past. So in that one, we need to use the past progressive tense. So to make the past progressive tense, we need a past form of be, like was or were. This is she, Meryl, so we should say she was. Okay, and then we need our verb read with ing. So while Meryl was reading the newspaper before class, she found an interesting article. Okay, number two, why laugh Ayumi and Suhyun right now? Here we see an important keyword, right now. Right now is the keyword in the sentence. Right now means we're talking in the present progressive. So we need a present be verb and an ing verb. So for the question form, we need to put First, the auxiliary verb, why are Ayumi and Su Hyun? Why do we use are instead of is? Because it's two people, so it's they. So why are two people, why are they? Then we need to put the other verb, the, the main verb. Um, this is our helping verb, and this is our main verb. So this one we need to put with ing, because it's in the present tense. Number three, before Rocio hmm to bed last night, she read a novel. You can see the key word in this sentence is last night. Last night means that something should be in the past. And in fact, this verb, read, is in the past. We know because it doesn't have an S, so it's not simple present. So it should be the, um, so it should be uh, simple past. So um, in the past, do we want to say, do, do we want to use the past progressive or the simple past in number three? 
I think both of these events happened, like one event happened first, with the with um, first go to bed and second read a novel. So um, I think it's better to use simple past for both of them because it's not like the go going to bed was in progress. It wasn't in progress. Okay, it just was. It just happened, and it finished. So I think in this case we should just use simple past. So once the past of go, it's went. So before Rocio went to bed last night, she read a novel. Number four, how many hours mm -hmm, you usually? Mm -hmm. Here our keyword will be usually. Usually tells us that we need to use the simple present. So sometimes we feel confused because we see um, the two the two spaces, but we only have one verb. But that helps us remember that we need a helping verb. And with the simple present, we need the verb a form of the verb do. So we do we want to say how many hours do you usually or how many hours does you usually? Well, we want to say how many um, hours do because we say do with you. And then we need to put here the main verb work. Okay, so now because, because of this, you can actually see that we had two sentences that are sort of like that. Number two and number four. Both of them are questions. So for both of those questions, we have to have a helping verb like are or do. We have a subject like Ayumi and Suhyun or you. And then we have our main verb in the correct form. Number five, Amy late to class. She arrived early. So here we have a verb in the simple past, arrived. So we probably need the other verb in the simple past too. So what is this past of be? The past of be is, was, or were. But we have Amy, which is she, so we have to say she was. But here we need to put was not. So we can either add it in like that, just by saying those two words, was, not, or we could say wasn't in a shorter way. Okay, last one, number six. Where, hmm, you, hmm, before you moved here. And we have the verb live. So again, like number two and number four, these are questions. We need to have an auxiliary verb, a helping verb first. So here we say moved. That's our key word. That means this question is about the past, ed. So how do we make a past question? Do we use do? Do we use are? No, we use did. So always did if it's a simple past. So where did you. Now the question is, should I say live or lived? Not lived, because we already have did, so we know it's the past, so we just put the base form, where did you live before you moved here? Okay, in the part three, we're answering questions in complete sentences, and we pay attention to the verb tense. Number seven says, what were you doing last night at 8 p.m.? Here we see the verb tense, were you doing? That means we need to make our answer in this in the present in the past progressive. So I will answer I was because the question is with were and I need now a verb with ing to describe my action. So I could say I was studying last night at 8 p.m. Okay, I, I was cooking, I was sleeping. Number eight, what is one thing you did not do? on your last vacation. These words are in bold, so they help us understand it a little bit. Okay, we're talking about the past because it says your last vacation and the question uses did. So I will say, I didn't, um, I didn't go to the beach. So we don't say, we always make sure you get the verb, the next verb in the, in the base form because we don't want to say I didn't win. I didn't go to the beach on my vacation. Okay, so we could say, I didn't cook on my vacation. I didn't swim on my vacation. Number nine, what do you usually do before class? Here we have usually, which tells us our answer should be in the simple present. Okay, because it's something we do almost every day. So before grammar class, I usually eat lunch before class. That's a simple present answer with eat. Let me, pause, let me stop this video and I'll c correct the rest of the quiz and explain ways to study in the second video.